Okay, come on. Show me the way. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. Ella, what do you want? You want to watch a movie? My husband was a cat person, but I've always grown up with dogs. We would go to the shelters and he could see every cat. He'd be like, I want it. For a couple months, we were looking and I kept feeling really bad because I could tell my husband I don't feel like a connection. Finally, one day we went and we saw Ella. She was a senior cat. When I first saw her, she came up to me and immediately licked me. I feel like I love this cat already. I was like, I'm gonna bring her home. I was kind of trying to still figure out her personality. Then about a week after having her, that's when the voice really started coming out. Hello. Hi, Ella. Yes? What? That's a little feisty. She would always climb on us and want to be near us. I thought it was interesting how fast she acclimated to us. At the time, I was working multiple jobs. It was around the holiday season and I was exhausted. So I always put on the TV just for myself because I like having some sort of white noise in the background. The movie that was coming on was The Grinch and she paused. She just stared at it the entire time. And I was like, what is happening? She's obsessed. Ella. Sorry, I'll put it back on. It's only the Grinch with Benedict Cumberbatch. We've tried the Jim Carrey version and we've tried like the original cartoon and she will not watch it. Why are you yelling? There was one night where I was making dinner. She was screaming her head off. Stop yelling, silly. The Grinch was the one thing that made her calm down watching movies has definitely become part of our routine. <laughs> I wish I could say it's not daily, but it really is. I'm like, okay, are you ready? She will come get us and lead us to the couch. You put the TV on, please don't watch it. Bye. Ella. I have to go. Okay, come on, let's go watch it. I'm coming. Let's go. Get yourself situated. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll pick one. Do you want to pick what you watch? Oh. Oh my god. We're not watching Toothless again. <laughs> Before any movie, she's interested in the loading screen. So we'll kind of be like, okay, she's interested to see where this is going to go. And if she's interested in a movie, she will definitely sit down and look at it. The other day, she was walking with the animals in the live action Jungle Book movies brought us closer together. I think it just has made her love on us more because like even if I have the TV on but it's not what she wants, she'll at least come and sit next to us. When you adopt a senior cat, you don't know what you're gonna get. Not to quote Forrest Gump or anything. I mean, it's fun that she was getting to know us but we're also getting to know her. Everyone gets so nervous about senior cats or just senior animals in general, but it's completely worth it. Like, I wouldn't trade her for the world. I just love her with everything I have.